Here's the Micron 4 uh, feature rich. Uh, one of the things it has is a, uh, it lets you put in your own logo, which I did here. Uh, so here's the screen you're going to see when, you, uh, when you're out there running laps. It's uh, similar to the other one we used to have. Um, with your uh, uh, RPM uh, bar graph on the top and then uh, right below that is your uh, digital RPM reading and then below that is your uh, lap count uh, and then uh, right hand side is your uh, lap time and uh, engine temperature on the uh, on the left now here's the uh, first screen we go to once we come in off our hot laps the uh, session summary screen click that by clicking the upper right hand button and now this shows you um, the um, three fastest laps and here's your, the date you ran your session test session number and the laps for that session highest RPM reach for that session and the um, highest temperature reach for that session and then over here on the left is the um, again your three fastest laps and then the lap number that was achieved on the lap time and then the uh, the uh, high and the low RPM and the uh, highest temperature reach for that particular lap. Okay, the next screen, again we hit that same button, is the uh, lap time histogram. And this one's really cool. It shows a uh, graphical representation of all the laps you ran for that test session. So uh, you have your test session number, the uh, lap number, and there's your cursor right there. shows you what lap you're on, and then the, uh, the lap time for that, that lap. Now uh, this is your, your laps represented in, in bars and um, the higher the bar the more time you did on that lap so uh, you know the goal is to get your bar, bars as low as possible and, or keep them consistent you know uh, same level there that means you, you know, you're running consistent laps. Um, what's cool about this screen is that you can use your greater than or less than keys on the left hand side on the top there and you can scroll to each lap and get information about each lap. So if you click once, your cursor moves over, see it to the next lap, uh, lap seven, I guess. Um, so you can scroll, you can go to each lap. Again, that lap is indicated there. And it shows you the uh, lap time for that particular lap. And down below here, it shows you your fastest lap and the difference between the lap you're currently on and your fastest lap. So this is pretty cool because now you can see exactly uh, all your laps and exactly what you did for each lap. It's just right there on the cart, you know, before you even get out of the cart, you can just look at all your, uh, all your information. So this one I like uh, a lot. This one's pretty cool. Uh, we go to the next screen. This one I don't know what its use is. It's called the uh, RPM graph. And what it shows you is a uh, representation of your RPMs. Um, Again here, test, lap number, lap time for that lap. We're on lap eight, I guess. But anyway, it shows you your um, your uh, you know eight seconds, like here, eight sec point seven seconds into the lap. We're at uh, 341 degrees Fahrenheit and 5,306 RPMs. And what I do is I can click my scroll buttons again, and now it will scroll that lap. So look at the uh, what's the lap time, but look at the uh, the time into the lap, how it increases. And then you'll see the numbers below here change accordingly. So as you can see, see it's advancing. It's a 41 second lap. So we're like here we're 16, 17, 18 seconds into it, and you can see what the RPMs were and what the temperature was. Again, I'm not sure how much value this screen's going to have. Um, and anyway, just wanted to show it to you. So when you get to it, there's lap nine coming up. You can see that vertical bar right there. So um, again, you know, you just scroll to it, and you'll see it jump over to lap nine. And there's the start of lap nine. There's a lap time for lap nine, and you can see, you know, we're we're scrolling along, and we're seeing we're 1.3 seconds into the lap, and you can see the RPMs and the the, the temperature it reached. Um, again, not sure what value this has. Next screen is the uh, called the split summary. This is basically just more detailed information uh, about your lap. I guess it'll give you splits. So, you know, same information: test session, lap number, lap time. Shows you the uh, track the date of the run, the time you did that lap in, you know, the time the lap was run. Uh, highest RPM reached, highest temperature reached, uh, lowest RPM reached, highest R RPM reached. And again, you can scroll by, you know, hitting your cursor key and going to the next lap. I, again, I assume I'm going to see splits on the right-hand side there. As, as we, If we develop split times, it'll probably give us splits for each one. 
So that's how you scroll. Just hit that memory button and it'll take you to uh, all the different screens. So now all of you can just uh, check your uh, data as you come in. You can just start uh, looking and see what you did right as soon as you get done with the run. Pretty cool stuff.